Welcome to September's Leco Challenge. Today's problem is contains duplicate 3. Given an array of integers, find out whether there are two distinct indices i and j in the array such that the absolute difference between the numbers i and j are at most t and the absolute difference between the i and j um, indices are at most k. Say we're given this example here. We could see that we want to find if there are numbers that um, are at most three indices apart and have a difference of zero. So here we can see one has one here that's going to be three indices apart and that is only a difference of, well they're the same so there's no difference at all, it's zero. So this would be true. Say with this example here though, 159159, we want to find a difference of three um, with being two indices apart, but you can see that it's never going to be the case because one, five, nine, we can see that one is going to be two apart from five. That's not a difference of uh, two. Same with um, to its right, two indices. It's not going to be a difference of two. So, all right, that's kind of a complicated problem. And this problem is really hard. It's categorized as medium, but I don't think that's the case. How could we do this? Well, if we did it the brute force method, we could just start with every number, check to see the, um, let's see, k numbers to its right and see if any of them have a difference of t or less. And that would just be the brute force method. And that would be, well, time complexity n, all the numbers times k, which is going to be the number of indices uh, difference. And we could code that out pretty easily, but that's going to give us a time exception. Um, give us a hint here. We want to solve it in n log k, meaning that there's going to be some sort of sorting involved for the k elements, which is like the elements um, in number of differences and in indexes. They also give us another hint here to say, hey, you can use the existing state, um, use some sort of set hopefully some sort of sorted set to check to see if the number exists. So really what they're telling us to do is use some sort of data structure to get the number um, of Ks first. And when we check the next number, check to see if this exists inside of our set with a difference of T. But that's the hard part, right? How do we do that? Because if we had it just normally sorted and check to see if, hey, this one exists, Let's start with 1 and 5. Now we'll check. All right, 9. Are you 3 or less apart from any of these numbers? We basically have to check every single one, right? So that ends up becoming n, n times k again. So what can we do? Um, well, we're going to have to have some sort of data structure when we do our comparison to have it be log k instead of k. And that's the hard part. Now, I had to look up the solution for this because it's not an easy problem at all. And there is a, um, you can use like, you can set up like a binary tree, set that up yourself or binary search tree anyway, or maybe a heap, but all that's really difficult. What I decided to, or what I looked up and saw was there is already a data structure called sorted list that you can use. And we're gonna use this to automatically sort our K numbers. And every time we check the next number, that's gonna be log K instead of K. And what we have to do is check to see if um, the positions for the range of minus t and plus t are, um, well, they exist, and if they're not the same. Because if they're not the same, then that means that, yes, this next number does exist in our set. It can be, um, basically, it, it fulfills the conditions of being k apart and having a difference of t for one of those numbers. So then we can return a true. All right, so how do we do this? Hmm. Okay, well, let's start by uh, thinking about what sort of things we need in here. Um, first, we need our sorted list, right? So we'll just call that S for sorted list, and we will just initialize that. And what we are going to do is for every number, uh, for i and n in enumerate nums, numerate nums we're first going to make check to see if our i is greater than k 
because if it's get greater than k, then we want to pop off from our set. From this s, we want to remove the previous number that was i minus k. And we actually need to do minus 1 because it's 0 indexed. Um, so because the order of this list matters, we have to pop off from our set the one that's um, before k, right? And we only want to do that once we've um, exceeded our k. For the first couple numbers, we don't need to check that. We can just uh, do it normally. All right, so now we want to find our positions. And we can use the bisect method that exists in Python. What we'll do is say, all right, bisect left. And this is going to give us the position in our sorted list of the number. So we'll pass in our sorted list and we'll say, hey, find the bisect left position of n, but we want a minus t here. We want to find the range, because we can have a difference of up to t. So we want to find the minus t. And we'll do the same thing for position 2, except we'll do a bisect right. And here we will do plus t to get the other range. Now, if we do find a position that's not the same, if we say, all right, if position 1 does not equal position 2, that means we've had, yes, this next number that we checked can exist in our set, meeting all our conditions. So we can return a true immediately there. Otherwise, we will add to our sorted list our number, and then just continue the loop again. If we get through our entire loop and we weren't able to hit this condition, then we return a false. Now, there is one edge case. They might give us negative k's and negative t's. But because this is caring about the absolute difference, um, that should never be the case. So if k is less than 0 or less than 0 or t is less than 0, then just return a false immediately because that can never work. So let's make sure this works here. Um, this should return a true. Oop. Remove nums. Uh, hmm. Let's remove. Uh, let's see. Okay. A legal target for. Okay, I, I don't know what I was thinking there. It's an if. So please ignore that. Um, my syntax problems. All right, so that looks like it's working. I should probably do more test cases, but forget it. Let's just see. And that does get accepted. So hooray. Now this solution is a n log k solution. There is an o n solution. But that solution it involves bucket sorting. And it's honestly above my understanding. So I just don't really think I should go into it without really understanding it. Frankly, I think this is hard enough, um, getting this solution, knowing that you could use sort of lists and, 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 and the whole not. So I'm just going to stick with this. You know, let me know if you have better solutions, the O of N solutions. You can put them in the comments. Um, I would recommend looking at it, but understanding it is a completely different beast. So whatever, I, I think this is fine. All right, so thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.